everybody, it's Sally from Sally Stampers. Thank you for joining me today. Today I'm bringing you a slightly different tea and biscuit um, treat today and this one is just a little gift bag. I totally, totally love anything monochrome. I just think it just has this classic look about it um, and of course we have this gorgeous black and white gingham ribbon as well which just sets it all off. Um, but it holds two um, tea bags and two um, of these gorgeous biscuits. Um, I just picked these up in one of our local stores but I know you can get them online and all different places. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, let's say, it's just a cute little bag. It would make a nice little favour. Um, if you have any friends stopping over, maybe they would be nice um, as a little pillow gift or you could have them as a thank you. Um, anything really. But I just think it's really cute and it's really easy to make. So I'm going to show you how to make it. Perfectly penciled DSP. I love this. I love the contrast in this side. Um, but this isn't a pattern that I would generally use a lot. But I think it looks really nice when it's just folded over um, and given a bit of a border so you don't get all of it. So you need a piece of DSP that is seven by eight and a half inches or 18 by 21 and a half centimeters. On the short side, obviously, if you have a pattern, you need to bear in mind which way this is going to go. Um, so if you have a pattern, you want it, um, this is going to be the base on the left hand side. So have your pattern running whichever way corresponds with that. So short side, one inch and five and a half inches. That's two and a half and 14 centimetres. Rotate it anti-clockwise and we're going to score on the long side at two and three quarters, three and three quarters, six and a half and seven and a half and in centimetres that will be seven, nine and a half, sixteen and a half and nineteen. Then we are going to fold and burnish so the one inch that we scored at the bottom here you fold over this way, the top one which is the what wider sorry the dogs are racing around being crazy um and the wider version at the top is where your um folded over piece is going to be so um just for some reason that oh, brilliant now they're going to start fighting um yeah so fold this one over this way so obviously you've got your guide and then when you do these folds you can obviously just ensure that your top stays lined up otherwise you'll have a wonky bag a wonky bag if you didn't just catch that sorry they've just had their breakfast and they have what i call the kibble rush um so yeah they they have a mad couple of minutes where they're just one's racing around like mad and the other's just barking at her <laughs> honestly I'll have to film them at some point and put them on because it just makes me giggle. Okay, so we folded all those and as you can see, this is how your bag is going to take shape. So the one inch again at the bottom, we're just going to cut these sections up. They're just entertainment, aren't they? So we're just going to cut all of these and then this last one we're going to cut away and just a slight wedge just there. And then on the top that you folded over here, I would again, just on the folded over piece, just take a small wedge out. That just it makes it easier when you fold this round and you're gluing it, just makes it a bit easier. In fact, I've got a wonky edge there, but never mind. Okay, so next task is to put some adhesive on your folded over piece so go all the way across the top there but also do the side here because that otherwise will stick out fold it back over and again bring it round you can see so we're going to adhere this tab here oh great we've got a squeaky toy now <laughs> why not fold this over and this should line up And then once you've done that, mine didn't line up, mine's completely wonky. So I'm just going to trim that because I don't want that overhanging edge. So fold that out of the way a second. And just take 
just be very careful when you do this because you don't want to actually cut the folded part of your bag because you'll just end up with a hole. That's better. And then with the back facing you, tuck the sides in, the base, and then just pop some adhesive on here and fold it over. Now, on my first bag that I made, I scored, I don't know if you can see, I did some scoring from the top here, not all the way down, but midway down. Um, but to be honest, the biscuits are so, <laughs> are so tall that it doesn't actually work. So I'm simply going to use my fingers and do the old fashioned way because that is all you need anyway. So pop your biscuits inside and then tea bags. I have two of, so I pop one to the front and one to the back there. Okay, and then we just need some ribbon. So grab pegs, clips, whatever you have to hold the top shut and then get your ribbon. Now I actually wrapped this round twice because I thought it looked quite good. Have we quite finished all that noise? Have we quite finished? <laughs> She's come and sniffing at my project. Oh, what am I doing? Goodness me, distracted by the dog, sorry. Um, I had to giggle actually. I was in here yesterday making some cards and my Daisy, please don't... Oh my goodness, come out. Go on, out of the way, good girl. Um, and that exact um, project that Daisy's just got caught in her long ears, um, the other one, Bailey, came in and actually decided that she was going to take it. So actually picked it up in her mouth and started to wander off with it. I obviously had to grab her and say, no, that's not for dogs. <laughs> but it just made me giggle. It didn't even have chocolate or anything in it. It was just an empty box, so she'd have been quite disappointed, I think. But yeah, Daisy has long, long ears, and so bless her, the um, <laughs> the decoration on it just got caught in her ears. Okay, so as you can see, I'm double wrapping this bow just because it's gorgeous ribbon, and I want to show it off. Um, and I'm folding it, doing it quite low down, and then when you take these off. It should, there we go, see it's actually done this one's better than the previous one. So I'm just going to take that off a little bit. So I've just done my bow, my pretty bow. Okay, and so I just need to decorate it really. And I went with um, Shaded Summer and the Summer Shadows dies because I just I haven't used these ones a great deal and I really liked them so I want this flower and this part of the flower here so just those two pieces I have some basic black and basic white don't need my stamp just yet so I'm going to run these through so I just need my mini boss for this one which is nice oops move that out of the way a moment that in there. So the black is for the base and the white, in fact I'm just going to trim that because I'm going to use that piece for my sentiment and I don't want it to be run through. Um, if you want to um, you can add the adhesive sheet to this. <coughs> I'm not going to because I'm a rebel. Um, because I'm just going to use a little bit of adhesive because I feel that's all I need. Oh, crumbs. I'm not very strong this morning and yet I did have my Weetabix and I did have a cup of tea. So I've had my caffeine, I've had my Weetabix, should be okay. Okay, so let's take those there, get rid of those bits, and then this one here. Just pop those bits out there. Okay. And those bits out. And then I just want the main die. There we go. Get rid of those. Sort that out in a minute. Okay, so 
as you can see this will just sit on top of here um, you just need to line it up and I find the easiest way if you can see that sort of lump on the outside there and there's one here there isn't really one anywhere else not like that so it just will just line up over the top like so and I just think it's really pretty and it just stands out as I say I've just used a little bit of wet glue here and I'm just going to put a tiny bit as she says as it comes out really fast I forgot this was a new one just around that centre there and maybe on a couple of the thicker parts of the white and then remember to line it up I find this actually easier to do in my hand because once you've got one sort of piece in place it's easier to put the rest in okay so that's that bit I'm back in with this for my sentiment, sentiment and I just went with the hello you and a little bit of memento to add there we go and then you just need to trim this down I left it quite big because I thought otherwise it's it's going to disappear on the, the bag you won't see it so I left it quite large and then you just need a dimensional on the centre of your flower, which I'm just going to pop just there, and then a dimensional on the back of here, which will overlap the flower just a little. And there you have it. That is your tea and biscuit gift bag. I love them, don't you? Thank you for joining me. Hope to see you very soon. Bye.